Oh, right here. Look at this. This is another very interesting thing that happened this week. Grant Cardone. So this week I did a show, I think it was on Wednesday or Tuesday, but I talked about why I sold my rental house for Bitcoin. And it was very well received. I got a ton of different comments on YouTube, people sending messages in saying that I've been thinking about doing the same thing or I already have done this. So I'm glad to hear that I'm not crazy. So I talked about the whole thing of why I sold it uh, back in 2021 and haven't spent one single day regretting that decision. And so if you haven't watched that one, go check it out. But I thought that this was very interesting timing after talking about that. And so this says that Grant Cardone is selling his Florida mansion that he purchased from Tommy Hilfiger back in 2021 for 646 Bitcoin. Looks like a pretty nice shack. Tommy Hilfiger. I didn't know that was a real human. I thought that was just a brand. But 646 Bitcoin, that's his list price. So first of all, imagine, <laughs> I don't, there's so many things to dive into on this. But imagine having 646 Bitcoin for one today. Imagine trading a house for Bitcoin. That would also be a, a weird feeling, especially a mansion like that. But he gets it. Grant Cardone gets it. And the one thing I want to... I did a little bit of research this morning and I, I used the website bitcoinorshit.net. Bitcoin or shit.net. You can look at that and it shows you all the different things that you maybe bought throughout the years and how much that would be worth today if you bought Bitcoin instead. So the one thing I was looking for something around the around the price of 646 Bitcoin, how much you know something costs for 646. And the thing that I found was from 2011. So back in 2011, you could have purchased the book Sapiens for 833 Bitcoin. Okay, think just let that soak in for one second. 2011, you could have purchased the Sapiens book for 833 Bitcoin. That's what it cost you, the equivalent. Fast forward 13 years, you can you can spend less Bitcoin and you can buy a Florida mansion that Tommy Hilfiger owned. <laughs> like what? What? That is nuts. And I mean, I keep saying this. I keep saying this. And I'm sure people are getting tired of, of hearing this. But that was the first 15 years of Bitcoin. And if you look at any technical um, technology innovation in history, look at the internet it took 30 years. So we're 15 years into this. So do you think that just thinking logically here, do you think that having said that with about 99% of people still having to get into Bitcoin, do you think that the, the hype or the big movement has already happened or do you think it's still yet to come? So 10 years from now, I can't even imagine what these numbers we're going to be talking about are going to be. But it's just crazy to think that only 13 years ago, the equivalent of a book is now the equivalent of a mansion owned that was owned by Tommy Hilfiger in Florida. That's how much Bitcoin has appreciated in purchasing power. So think about 13 years from today. And, and if you are somebody who has not only you know been been buying bitcoin but if, if you're setting your life up in a way where you're actually going to be earning bitcoin and you're, you're working in bitcoin and, and doing whatever it is that you do your business your skills you're using that and you're earning bitcoin think about how much purchasing power you're going to have in the future and i mean not everybody's going to want a florida mansion but i mean i don't think there's too many people out there who wouldn't want a florida mansion I would, I would take a Florida shack, to be honest with you. <laughs>